The U.S. has more than 300 operational Reapers. China has exported hundreds of Wing Lung drones. Israel produces drones by the thousands. Russia, under sanctions and budget strain, may only build a few dozen Okotniks by 2030. Each one may cost $100 million, equivalent to a modern fighter jet. That means they will not patrol daily or strike minor targets. They will be reserved for the highest value missions, taking out NATO's AWACS surveillance aircraft, striking airbases in Poland or Romania, or threatening carriers in the Mediterranean. This makes the Okotnik part of a layered drone doctrine. Russia floods the front with Orlans and commercial FPVs for reconnaissance. It uses Iranian shahads for attrition and terror strikes. And above all, it develops the Okotnik as the rare hunter, deployed only when the stakes are highest. It is the opposite of Israel's swarm logic or China's export model. It is a bomber drone built for strategic war. The question is simple. Will a few of these change the balance or vanish under the weight of swarms and numbers? Tell me what you think in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for the next mission.